maximizing opportunities with strategic supply chain partners. Well, joining us today to speak about that is Jennifer Coles, Vice President, Transportation at Ulta Beauty. Jennifer, it's great to see you. Welcome. Thanks, Russell. Happy to be here. Jennifer, uh, let's talk just a moment before we talk about the company itself. I, first of all, I think most of us know what Ulta Beauty does. We've seen the stores. Many of us have been in the stores. So I we hope know what, so. <laughs> what, we know what the customer facing aspect of it is all about. But uh, who knows about you know the, the, the transportation aspect. Mm -hmm. So let's just take a moment and talk about what you do as VP of transportation. What's that about? Sure, so my team and I oversee all of transportation. That includes inbound, outbound to um, our stores. We have over 1,300 stores across the U.S. Uh, it also includes digital transportation, which is e-commerce, so direct to guest, um, inclusive of same-day delivery, ship from store. Um, and then I'm also, my team and I are responsible for freight payment, claims, and all that fun stuff. So you everything say, transportation. You say my team. How large is that team? Must be quite a number of folks you're no, working with. No, we have a mighty small team. I think it's a total of about 26 individuals that are responsible for quite a large spend. Um, and they do an amazing job, dedicated uh, couldn't do what we do without them. So they're quite fantastic. This is when you get to say to the C-suite that, you know, we don't have enough of these amazing <laughs> people. Let me hire some more. Okay. Well, let's talk about the, the portfolio that somebody that, a, that uh, a company needs to have if it's, if it's really going to maximize these opportunities with these really important, fundamentally strategic supply chain partners. So let's talk about that. Walk yeah, I mean, I, you know, for us, it's really critical that we have a diversified carrier portfolio, um, which entails a lot of work, to be quite honest. Um, so we ensure that we have carriers that represent multiple modes, uh, multiple carriers in a mode. Uh, we focus on diversification of our carriers, not only from their mode expertise and ca capability and geographical coverage, but also from, are they a diverse partner? Um, are they in involved in sustainability? All of those are really, is really important when you look at um, uh, figuring out your portfolio in general. Um, the second piece to that though is, does it support the strategic initiative? So we have built out a multi-year strategic roadmap, uh, not only for transportation, but for supply chain. And so it's really important that when you look at your carrier portfolio, that it represents what your strategy is, but also the broader strategy, the enterprise strategy, and where you're going from that perspective. Um, the hard part is, is managing all that. And the reason why it's hard is, as you bring on more carriers, which is the right thing to do, and you bring on diversification, you then have to manage that which just means that you have to onboard more carriers, you have to have more quarterly business reviews, you need to hold them accountable. So that part becomes um, you know, a task to manage, but I have a great team that does that and it's the right thing to do for the business. Now let's talk about how you actually enable that. And mm. that I think leads to the discussion about technology. Yep. What do you need if you're really going to optimize that entire scenario that you just talked about? Yeah, so first off, you need some type of rating tool when you talk about technology to be able to rate your carriers depending upon what, what your uh, mode or grouping of carriers might be as well as um, how you choose to uh, select those carriers. So we have various rating tools. We have one that works for truckload and LTL, another that we utilize for parcel. So that's really important. That's a key uh, differentiator. I would say the second thing that you really need is strong analytics. So whether you're using Tableau, you have some type of BI reports, both are equally important because you really need to be able to hold that carrier accountable, have those reviews, um, and be at a different level, like analyzing the data and truly being able to understand it. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the metrics that are involved there. How yeah. do you know that you're actually achieving what you're setting out to do, that what you're doing is, is the most cost-effective way, et cetera? Let's yeah, talk about that. so I would say, first off, it's great to have metrics, but you need to benchmark your metrics in the industry. And a lot has happened in transportation over the last couple of years. You know, on-time service that was at a high 90s through the pandemic obviously dropped. Uh, primary carrier acceptance dropped, right? It's general as far as the industry goes. So when we measure metrics, we have our solid metrics, we share with our carriers. These are the ones that we're gonna measure you on either a monthly or quarterly basis. But then on top of that, we bench it against the industry to make sure that we are telling the entire story to our stakeholders that maybe we are better than the industry, maybe we're close to the industry, um, but making sure we share that same picture because you could throw out a metric and if, 
if no one's there, or you're not going to get there. It has no meaning. And so we really pride ourselves on not only doing that, but then partnering with the right stakeholders internally during those reviews so that they could share. So for instance, when we have uh, carrier reviews with our with our various partners, we'll bring in our loss prevention team, we'll bring in our procurement team. So we're bringing in multiple stakeholders to have a conversation, not just about the KPIs, but how they're performing, what loss prevention might think, et cetera. So we bring in a lot of partners. You know, when you talk about uh, benchmarking again, you know, against the industry, Yep. Let's talk about what you specifically are involved in. You know, the, the beauty uh, product industry, I suppose we might, mm -hmm. we might call it. Is there something particular or special about that that causes you to uh, have special requirements from your carriers? Yeah, that's a great question. For us, the way our store layout is set up, we do have some stores that require inside delivery. Um, so we'll have inside delivery through our stores. Um, we also have uh, front door access. So there might, so it's not a typical, our, our stores are not like a typical big box where you can drop a trailer. They're really live unload and, and deliveries that are occurring. Um, so that is unique. And that is important when we select our carriers um, to, to your question. Mm -hmm. That's really important for us to make sure that they have that capability. Mm -hmm. um, service, I, I, I guess I would just say from our perspective, service is critical and i know service is important in so many different areas but when you think about retail and you think about the sensitivity and trying to meet the guests where they want to be met service is really important and so we we focus on that tremendously jennifer final question uh, i want to ask you this and i think it's larger than just ulta beauty what question have i neglected to ask you that you think is indispensable to cover when we're talking about maximizing our opportunities with the really, really important strategic supply chain partners. What's an area that we need to talk about? Yeah, I would say communication, honestly. I mean, we, I was just on a panel earlier today and the conversation talked about um, just how important communication is, sharing your forecast, sharing what's occurring in your business. Uh, we prep for holiday just like every other retailer. Uh, we believe we're going in with our best forecast. And as that changes day to day or hour to hour in real time, as the consumers you know, enjoying our stores and buying online, we need to quickly respond back and be able to share that to our carriers so that they could adapt, so that they could look for capacity. And we've gotten a lot of great, um, I would say, uh, accolades from our partners saying that you are by far very transparent and highly communicative. Um, and that's really helped us and it's helped them. So I think that partnership and communication is one area that a lot of people don't focus on as much um, and definitely need it. That's great, great advice. It really, really is. Jennifer, I know you're busy here at the uh, conference, but you found time to speak with us. Thank you very much. Thank you, Russell. That's Jennifer Kobus, Ultra Beauty, speaking with us today about some opportunities that perhaps you need to be working on, maximizing with your strategic supply chain partners. Thanks for watching.